how I possibly choose this one over this one? A bag of chips is a long story. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I'm Diane. So happy to be back again and I'm trying new camera today. So it's very exciting to get better result with the video now. Anyway, we will still talk about intuitive eating. I made last week video how intuitive eating helps me to stay slim and now I'm going to continue how intuitive eating helped me to choose the right food and healthy kind of food that's finally the end result is help me to stay slim well um, it's kind of a long journey so and this is the hardest part of intuitive eating I would say that choosing the right food subconsciously this is not going to be happen like overnight it's a long process because it's involving of our awareness our consciousness as well as our understanding about um, of course healthy food in general and healthy diet in general First of all, before we dive into more intuitive eating that can help us choosing the right food and the healthy foods, I want to make sure that you subscribe. <laughs> I mean, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. You don't need to subscribe, but it would support me and sort of like gives me feedback that you like this kind of content so i can make more in the future and i will make some more um, intuitive eating series into my channel that's my plan because i want to share my experience with it so some of you may be wondering how i do this well i i have been doing this for half of my life basically since my mid-20s around 25 i make another video about this uh, last week you can check it out if you want to and i'm not a registered dietitian or nutritionist but i'm just sharing my experience with this i have my whole life now i'm nearly 40 years old and basically my practice intuitive eating and how it leads me to healthy diet and as well as um, healthy food is sort of like a long process so like i've told you before you got to be ready with the process and it's a long process it will take time especially if you a uh, kind of person that's just been through a lot of kind of diets before and your your dieting and many kind of diets uh, takes probably one or two years until your body get used to with intuitive eating with mindful eating all right it takes time it takes time to train your mind that uh, the healthy food is the yummy food and believe me you will you will get used to that idea after one or two years you will choose healthy food after um, junk food and you will crave healthy food believe me i i have this you know i i have a crave for salads for um, kale salad for uh, fish so all kind of healthy diets i crave to it but that's is once again takes time so you got to be ready and you have to accept that it's not gonna be overnight process well while i make uh, my broccoli salad i can just munch on broccoli just like that mm, this is yummy really i'm not kidding i'm sorry <laughs> i get used to like eating this raw food and munch on my raw food while i'm cooking Mm -hmm. and this is yummy I'm not I'm not kidding 
and another thing that I've learned as well when you want to practice a healthy diet or healthy living it's all come down to what you have every day and this is why I rarely have like kind of a unhealthy food around my house this is also important for my kids as I'm a mom with three small kids that they grow up with something they're familiar with which is healthy diets vegetables fresh fruits so yes i have some days with chips which that is my kind of weakness occasionally but um, actually it's been a while now i don't eat chips anymore but when i have a crave for chips i buy chips and i eat it without i'm feeling guilty you know but the daily life what i have my daily diet and in general my fridge i always have broccoli that's every day i have broccoli i have apples around my house and um you know like clementines we have now season for clementines there if you could see it that's kind of clementine there 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 <laughs> so yeah so um so you have to like what I said, brainwashing yourself. You have to put healthy food around you, uh, everywhere around you, if you want to be he eating healthy, you know? Because at least in the beginning, when you are tend to binge eat, you will pick at least whatever in front of you and you will pick apples, banana, or clementines, or some kind of uh, healthy food around you so stack and 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 put the healthy food around the house. all right guys um one step further about intuitive eating that is not going to be easy in the way that it looks like easy the principle that you eat uh, when you're hungry and you are finished eating when you are comfortably full not super full it seems simple and yeah but in the practice it's not going to get that simple because especially if you've been uh, trying many kind of diets before and you maybe often starve yourself this process of intuitive eating which is basically following your body clues is going to take time and i'm hoping that you basically ready to get to get through the process not uh, hijacking into quick fix and okay this is intuitive eating you know and then I'm I'm eating when I'm uh, basically hungry and then you misunderstood that and when you feel some sort of like hunger all the time then you follow that all the time because you might be wrong you might be eating of boredom you might be eating of um, emotions you know so this is what uh, interesting in intuitive eating it looks simple but many people fails due to they don't realize and they don't being mindful remember that being um, in intuitive eating is basically also being mindful being mindful means that you are aware about what your body now going through is it really hungry or is it really hunger of boredom or kind of stress intuitive as uh, stress eating i mean so recognizing that that takes time so you really have to train yourself and you have to be able to embrace that process to sort of like to go through without judging yourself too much even one or two days maybe you fail and that's okay that is the principle of being intuitive or being mindful so you accept the process you go with it and when your body sort of like battling the hunger you have to register that and realize what kind of hunger is this 
The last thing to train your mind to love healthy food and to make it in your daily routine every day is to avoid food police. What is food police? It's basically judging, uh, judging uh, how you categorize food. Well, there is bad food, there is uh, good food, the, this we know, but we should not over analyzing and over judging when we have one or two days eating unhealthy food or less healthy food you know so uh, this you have to get used to and 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 so when one day you get some kind of failure to eat for example greasy food and that's all right i mean i eat that and indulge that occasionally too i mean moderately like sugar for example or muffin you should enjoy this life you should enjoy uh, nice brownies or yummy cookies or yummy cake occasionally i mean this is life you have to enjoy also uh, eating some greasy food so do that occasionally and don't feel guilty about it but i know this is uh, easier said than done when you're not trained to uh, intuitive eating so once again you have to love the process you have to love uh, the way that it's not gonna be overnight you have to love your failure even so I hope you come with a journey with this intuitive eating with me and I really want to share uh, how I do it uh, daily as well and if you have some uh, experience with intuitive eating please comment in the comment section below and please let me know what you thought about intuitive eating and maybe another diet that you have been trying and how is it and it give me some sort of uh, feedback and it give me improvement into my channel once again i really love to share uh, my experience with you uh, in the way not only intuitive eating because i aim to make my channel mindfulness channel which i really practice for the last years into my life so thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe and likes and maybe even share it if you like this content and we see you next time i'm gonna talk more about intuitive eating still and share more information about intuitive eating for the next video